Hello everybody, my name is Tatiana and this channel is about data science, data analytics and career in tech industry. I've been working in data science and data analytics for around four years and I have done projects for the top airline company and the top taxi aggregator. Keep watching this video and you'll get to know an effective way of learning data science. Why you could be interested in learning of this specific field? For example, because data scientists have well-paid jobs. You get more details about salaries in data science from my video, where I conducted research based on data from Glassdoor website. I put a link here. In this video, first of all, I tell you basic elements of data science. Then I describe approaches to acquire relevant knowledge. And finally, I share the most effective method with you. Moreover, in the end of this video, I provide you with tips for even more productive learning. There are three main components in data science. The first part is models and math that stands behind them. Here, data scientists apply mathematical thinking in order to get answers to questions such as what is loss function, how to minimize it, how to find parameters of models, and so on. The second part is coding and debugging. Here, data scientists either code algorithms that implement chosen models or simply use methods out of box. In any case, scripts should be debugged to work properly and produce correct answers. In fact, programming almost always requires time spent on debugging. Thirdly, insights and visualization are important part of data science. How to get insights from results calculated by a machine? How to draw results that they mean something to someone, for example, to business or science? In overall, impact is a final abstract metric that describes the main aim of data science. Now, I assume that you understand what data science is, you want to make an impact and you want to get a well-paid job. It's time to take steps and learn this field. There are different ways to learn data science. For example, you can study it at university, you can make projects, you can watch online courses, or you can participate in competitions. But if you don't have any background in data science and start from zero level, it's better to choose online course and get knowledge. Apply it when doing exercises right in the course. That's how you'll be able to get no models and math inside them, to have practice with coding and debugging, to get no how to visualize data, how to find interconnections, correlations, and make conclusions based on them. There are plenty of resources with online courses, such as Coursera, Udemy, Udacity, and so on. Actually, YouTube knows my interests very well and often offers me ads with some data science courses. In general, each of mentioned platforms has several courses in data science and it seems hard to choose just one and simply start to get knowledge and experience. Prerequisites can be different, programming language can be different, level can be different, etc. While choice of online course is up to you, I highly recommend one course or exactly specialization that I've completed this year. I started it right before a pandemic and uh, had a chance to use self-isolation to study it productively. I'm talking about applied data science with a Python specialization that is, was provided on Coursera by University of Michigan. There are five courses in specialization. The first course is Introduction to Data Science in Python. The second course is Applied Plotting, Charting and Data Representation in Python. The third course Applied Machine Learning in Python. Next course Applied Text Mining in Python. And the last course is Applied Social Network Analysis in Python. Now I list reasons why I recommend this set of courses. 
It has high quality because it was made by professors of University of Michigan that is in the list of the top 20 American universities. Technologies change dynamically and tend to become out of date. This specialization has appeared in 2016, that is quite recently, and it contains fresh knowledge and information. Programming language in this specialization is Python. And this is awesome because Python is the top language in data science. These courses cover most of machine learning techniques and even more. It's cheap and subscription fee depends on time you learn the course. It's also possible to get a financial aid as on many other courses at Coursera. After completion, you get a certificate that you can add to your profile in LinkedIn and recruiters can view it. And the last but not the least reason, there is an easy entrance. It's shown on the website that this specialization has an intermediate level, but it doesn't mean that you need to have many prerequisite skills to enroll this course. It rather means that you not only use methods out of box, but also be provided with mathematical explanations and exercises that are not primitive. In my opinion, for a successful completion of these courses, it's enough to have only understanding of basics in math. So don't be afraid to get this specialization if you don't know anything in data science. Now I would like to share my tips how to make this learning even more productive. It's shown at Coursera that approximate duration of this specialization is five months, but it's more than possible to complete it within two months or even less. To do it, plan to have more than one uh, Coursera week in one calendar week. I usually had materials of two weeks just in one day at weekend. I was motivated not only by reducing duration, but also by reducing costs. The faster you learn, the less you pay. Save scripts of your assignments and reach portfolio with them. When you need to solve similar problems, you will know from where to start and which techniques to apply. It's easier to stay motivated on this long journey if you are not the only one. So I recommend you to learn together with your friend or friends. In my case, I studied the whole program with my husband and we support each other when someone of us was thinking to give up. This is it for this video, and I have a question for you. Do you think that data science is a rocket science? Please write your comments below this video. Your opinion is important to me. Thank you very much for watching the entire video. I will be very glad if you like this video. And this shows me that I'm in the right direction producing such content. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find it useful and motivational. See you in next videos and bye-bye!